this video, what we're going to be doing is looking at filling in missing angles and triangles. So this was a viewer's request. Um, what I've done here is I've made up a little reference guide as to how to do this, depending on the type of triangle that you've got. So the first thing we should always remember is that angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So if you don't already know that, that's something that you do need to know. What we always have to consider is what type of triangle that we have. So there's really four different types of triangles that we can have. We can have a right angle triangle, which looks like this. We can have a scaling triangle, which you may or may not be familiar with, but all it just means is that all the sides and the angles are different and it's not right angle. So they're all, it just doesn't fall into any of these other categories. An isosceles triangle, you've possibly heard of that, where you've got two sides are the same, and that actually means that two angles are the same, and then the top one's different. And an equilateral triangle is where all three sides are the same, which in actual fact means that all three angles are the same as well. So what I've done here is I've given a reference as to how to work each one out. So we're going to use the triangles in the examples to apply this information. So I'm going to apply, I'm going to start this one here. So if we've got a right angle triangle, as we do here, it says add the two angles, then subtract from 180. So that's 90 and that's 38. So I need to do 90 plus 38 and from that I get 128. So I've added them together and then subtract from 180. So I need to do 180, take away 128 and I get 52 degrees. So that would go in there. That would be 52 degrees there. In the next one, it's quite similar. So in a scaling triangle, what it tells me to do here, I'll just rub this little bit out. It says you add the two angles, then subtract from 180. So you do 15 add 115. So 15 add 115. And I end up with 130, so 130 degrees, and then I subtract that from 180. So I do 180, take away 130, and I get 50 degrees. So that means this angle here, so I'll just draw it like that, is 50 degrees in, in there. So these two, the principle to work in each of these out is very similar. In the next one, if we've got an isosceles triangle, so this is probably the hardest one. This is probably the most difficult one. So if I look at this one here, so this is the first bit. We have to either fill in the missing angle and then do this or subtract the top angle from 180. But we don't have the top angle here. We can fill in the matching angle because that's there. These two sides are the same, which means that these two angles are the same. So I can fill in the matching angle. So that's also going to be 78. Then I just do exactly what I've done here and you add the two angles, then subtract from 180. So I do 78 add 78, which gives me 156 degrees. And then I subtract that from 180. So it's 180 take away 156, which is 24 degrees. So it's 24 degrees up there. This is a different one here. This is where we've got the top angle. So what we have to do, as it says here, you subtract the top angle from 180. So I need to do 180 take away 96, which gives me 84. Then I divide it by two. So I have to do 84 divided by two, which is 42 degrees. So that one's 42. And then obviously I can fill in the matching angle. I should point out at this point that I'm doing these calculations quite quickly. So if you're doing them, so there's nothing wrong with taking your time to do a chimney sum to work each of them out. In an equilateral triangle, it's very simple. Each angle, because all the sides are the same, all the angles are also the same. So really each angle is just 60 degrees. That's all you really need to remember. But the reason for that is because they're all the same, because 180 divided by three gives me 60. I'm going to use some other examples. Pause. 
So these questions are just different numbers this time. So we're just going to try it again. This time I've got a right angle triangle because we've got this one filled in. So we just need to add the two angles, then subtract from 180. So we do 68 add 90, which gives me 158. And then I subtract that from 180. So do 180 take away 158. And I get 22 degrees. So that angle there is 22. And this one here, in the scaling one, it's the same rules. I just have to add the two angles, then subtract from 180. So I do 46, add 39, which gives me 85. And then I have to do 180, take away 85, which gives me 95. So that angle in here is 95 degrees. Now if I look at the next one along here, it's isosceles. And we've got two isosceles triangles. In this one here, because we've got the two options, that's if we have the matching angles. And this is the one if we have the top angle. So in this one here, we've got the top angle. So what you have to do is subtract the top angle from 180. So you do 180 take away 28, which gives me 152. And then I've just to divide that by two. So if I divide it by 2, I get 76 degrees. So each of these is 76 degrees. Again, I'll just point out that I'm doing these calculations quite quickly. And you might take a little bit longer just if you were doing a chimney sum, etc. And this one here, we can actually fill in the missing angle. So that's 36. So it means that the other one will also be 36. And then you just do exactly what we've done here. You add the two angles, add the two angles, and then subtract from 180. So we do 36 add 36. And we get 72. And then we just do 180 take away 72, which is 108 degrees. So that goes up here. And then as discussed previously, an equilateral triangle each angle in it is just 60 degrees because they're all the sides are the same and all the angles are the same. Don't really need to fill that in, but I will anyway. Okay, please like, please subscribe, please stay safe during this time as well. And hopefully we'll see you again in the next video. Bye.